to Prague late evening. The city looked so magical and so sophisticated. I fell in love at first sight. We had a few nibbles and a glass of red wine each and then hit the hay. Welcome back to another musical destination series. This time I'm checking in with you from Prague. And even though I'm only here for a short stay, I've got a very exciting musical itinerary planned for you. But first, breakfast and coffee. Two minutes later, we spotted these busy food kiosks. It was the smell that attracted us. Offering old Prague ham, sausages and hot drinks, we decided to try some. Okay, like this for you? Yeah, yeah perfect. Guys. This was gnocchi-like dish with cabbage and bacon. We found a standing table and eating outside with at least a hundred pigeons around us, which I got pooped on by the way. Overall, it was a pretty nice experience, tasting local meats, watching people go by in the middle of the square. After we fueled our bodies with some Prague's ham, we decided to climb the astrological clock. You can pay extra to use the lift, but this was a pretty easy and cool climb with some sneak peek views of the city. Here was a one-way staircase which then led to the top of the tower and these incredible views. also able to walk around, meaning you get a full 360 degree view of the city. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna visit Luzerna Passage, also known as Prague's little culture gem. Many tourists come here to look at the famous upside down horror statue, but it's also a stunning cinema a mall with wine shop, a cafe, and I should mention that the upside down horse isn't the only hanging statue. There's also a grand piano hanging up in the air, which I thought was a pretty cool view. After a little bit of wandering, it's time to visit the first musical destination, that is the Stein Piano Store. I have no idea where it's located. Wish me luck. Hopefully we find it. Hopefully it's open. Few moments later. Still not sure why it was closed as it was advertised online, open on Saturday until 4 p.m. Thanks to the big glass windows, could still peek inside. And nevertheless, the shop looked beautiful and very inviting, and all the pianos were such a tease. So, since the piano store was closed, decided to cheer ourselves up by stopping by a stunning cafe, Cerna Madonna. Just look at those cakes. Got a coffee and some treats. Oh, and some ice cream with raspberry jam. Wait, did I mention the pistachio cake as well? After a serious indulgence, we spontaneously decided to go ice skating. I haven't done it for years and forgot how much fun it is. A few inches later. And then it was finally time for Romeo and Juliet Ballet. Ready to see the state opera? The theater opened as a German theater in Prague in 1888 with Wagner's opera. The state opera is absolutely stunning and was designed by Vienna-based architects. Okay, let's find our box. Ready to go inside? And with a spacious auditorium, magnificent interior, the state opera is considered as one of the most beautiful theater buildings in Europe. The state opera is part of the national theater and is a popular scene of ballet and opera shows.
It is Sunday morning and it is minus 10 degrees. Definitely feeling the chill. The streets are so quiet, but I actually like to walk around early in the morning. And I believe most of the shops and cafes only open at 10. I just realized yesterday I went ice skating. This is the little ice rink we went to. And I did not know that we were skating right in front of the Estates Theater which is another beautiful venue for concerts and ballet shows. Plan for this morning is to possibly get over to the other side of Prague, get across Charles Bridge, visit the Petrin Tower, which is a cool panoramic tower. The most important thing that I'm looking forward to today is Mitsuko Ushida concert, which is gonna be taking place at the famous Rudolfino concert hall. The concert is at 5 p.m. I only managed to get a standing ticket. It was only four euros, so I was like, I have to go. Really looking forward to that. Okay, which way to go? I think I'm gonna go this way. I'm uh, heading towards uh, the river. That's probably gonna be Baltic, close to the water. I'd love to see it in the morning. Oh. The impressions of this city that I have so far, the way this reminds me of home, it reminds me of Lithuania a bit. People, style, the interior, the cobblestone streets, the colored houses, this reminds me of my hometown, Klaipeda. It feels really familiar and really close to heart. Walking through the city, I feel like wherever I go, it feels so authentic and looked after. And just as I say that, a wall covered in graffiti. <laughs> The architecture, the buildings, the fact that they have trams. It feels like you're walking a very historical town. People are very friendly. Guys, I can see the bridges and I can see the river. And oh my gosh, it's so much colder. I personally like this weather. Once you have the right gear, you're wrapped up. But I really enjoy it. Other than the little chilly, crisp air, it's very winter. It's time to visit Petrin Tower, and for fun, we decided to use the public transport. First, we got the tram. Tickets can be purchased on it by simply using your contact list. This part had much more snow, and here are two kids enjoying the snow. Next up, the funicular. Tickets first. Next, we gotta validate them. And now we go to the funicular. Hello, doggy. Very retro, love it. Next up, Petrin. <laughs> Some people walk it, but this was much more fun. We're here, now let's find the Petrin Tower. Thank you. Thank you. My parents got the lift and I wanted to take the steps and I'm so glad I did. I made it to the top and I didn't expect it to be this high. Even on a cloudy day, the views are amazing. After all those steps, it was time for some coffee and cake, of course. If you're visiting Petron Tower, I suggest you get a combo ticket, which includes the mirror maze. Fun place to visit with friends, or in my case, with parents. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> One hour later. If you watched my Little Destinations vlog Budapest, you might remember I visited one of the most pianistic hotels called Aria Hotel Budapest. Well, guess what? There is actually one Prague city as well. I'm only four minutes away from it. So why don't we just drop in, have a look? The place looked beautiful. And I mean, look at that cool bar. Super pianistic. And then I had the courage to ask. Could I play a little bit? <laughs> For free. I'm not gonna charge you. There's no guests, anyways. Yeah. No people. For us. Yeah. For you. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Bösendorfer as well. Thank you so much. So I'm so happy to see a little Vienna. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Would I like some of drink? Would I like Dad is waiting outside. She's gonna be like, where are the girls going? <laughs> Someone very tall. Just use the small. Huh? You the small. I'm, I'm short. <laughs> Feels like we should not be here. Oh yeah, we were coming for a bit. Oh yeah, because it's icy. Oh, wow! Echt <laughs> so. Guys, I'm so happy that I went into the Aria Hotel because once again I had such a good experience. You know, they let me play. It was a Bösendorfer, which is probably one of my favorite piano mix. And not only that. I got to play the piano. We also were brought up to the beautiful terrace, which is now closed for little renovations. Since it's the winter season, it's closed. However, it is open from May throughout the summer and it's got incredible views of the city. So, oh my gosh, if I'm coming back to Prague, I think that's where I'm gonna stay. And then it was time to eat. This restaurant was recommended by a good friend. If you're watching this, Sana, thank you. It was amazing. Czech restaurant called Pod Veggie. We tried some local wine and beer. The food looked like a piece of art and everything tasted divine. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> oh, super. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that, my bowstick. It's like bulbas. Endorphine. Limas hormone. There's no question. It's really fine. Perfect. It's amazing. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. 
finished our dinner. That dinner was top class. Incredible, highly recommended. So I'm currently on the way to Rudolfino Concert Hall. I can't believe that I'm going to see such an incredible pianist, Mitsuko Uchida. She's like 75 years old, which is ridiculous. Amazing. Just crossing Charles Bridge, which is absolutely stunning. And I just can't get over the colors of the sky. This looks like I'm walking in some sort of fairy tale or movie set. I'm gonna focus on the map now and hopefully find the place no problem because I don't want to be late. I'm really excited about it. So let's go and find out. Rudolfinum Concert Hall. Welcome to the most famous concert hall in Prague. So I've got standing tickets, therefore I need to be upstairs. Every concert hall is just phenomenal. Look at this. It's quite funny because I was actually one of the first ones to come into the hall. And this is the standing tickets right by the wall. And it's actually not so bad because you've got such an open view of the concert hall. And there's the piano. I'm nervous and I'm excited. And then during the intermission, I went to one of the staff to ask if there are any spare seats. <laughs> Guess what? They let me take a free seat, literally on the second row. When you thought the concert couldn't get any better. I'm walking back home through the stunning old town square. It's crazy to think that I've only been here for two days. It feels like it's been a long trip because it's been filled with so many sights and activities. This place is just so inspiring. 